YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What is up, you guys? We are here, we are back with another episode. And as you guys can see, I'm on a different bike. Oh, what's that? What bike, you ask? It's a KTM 200 XE. 2006 KTM 200 XC. It's a really fun, really, really fun bike. I'm kind of, you know, kind of riding dirty right now. It's not plated, so I'm just heading to the hills over here behind my house. We're just going to go test out the new bike. I just got it yesterday. The bike is in terrific condition for a 2006. Yeah, all I did was basically put on a new back tire and Dunlop AT81, if you guys are wondering. And yeah, we are about to have a fun little session. Bright and dirty, so I gotta make sure there's no cops. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, I sold, I sold the DR, I should say DRZ, I sold the DRZ and now I got this beautiful beast here. I uh, sold the DRZ yesterday, look at this guy, sold the DRZ yesterday and bought this one right away, right after. Let's, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. There she is. 2006 KTM 200 XC. So the bike came with basically everything that I wanted. Um, I didn't have to do anything but put a new rear tire because it came with a trials tire. So it came with a FMF uh, gold fatty pipe with the, I believe it's the turbine core two uh, silencer spark with, with spark arrestor. Um, it also comes with the pipe guard, the carbon fiber pipe guard. It came with a Boysen clutch. I mean, it came equipped with aftermarket pegs, hand guards, uh, disc guard, the Boysen cover on this side as well. Yeah, the bike was, was well taken care of. Oh, one thing that's really cool, so I don't know if you guys can see this. Two previous owners ago, not the one that I bought it from, but the one that he bought it from, they tore it down to the frame and Painted the frame with, uh, I forget, Liner X, or I forget what it's called, but basically like that liner guard that people spray their trucks with or spray their beds with. Um, it's actually pretty cool, and it's and it's got like uh, splashes of orange in there. I thought it was just like chipping when I first saw it, and I looked closely at it, and the guy showed me, and I'm like, whoa, that's pretty sick. But yeah, so this bike, 200cc, two-stroke, you know, like it, it's not scary on the top end at all. The low to mid range, uh, power on this bike is so fun so explosive when it hits that power band um, So I know you, some of you guys might get upset, you know, why'd you sell the DRZ and everything and you know I love the DRZ and I'm willing to get another DRZ in the future But right now I just want to kind of ride off-road a little bit more. I enjoy it a lot I have a lot of fun doing it <laughs> If anyone's riding at the spot over here, I do not see anybody riding at the spot. I wish I can cut across. I could probably. F I want. I want to try one day to just find my way through these trees and get over there. But today is not that day. Oh no! Today is not that day. Still getting used to this bike, of course. I've only taken it out yesterday for about an hour. And compared to the DRZ, you know, many things are a lot lighter compared to the DRZ. Compared to the DRZ, this thing feels like a mountain bike. Seriously, like it's ridiculously light. It handles super well. It's basically this model year of the KTM 200 XC. 
has a, uh, the same frame as the 125 for that year. So 125 frame, 200cc bike, and that makes the bike feel very, very light and nimble. As you guys saw in my last video, there's a bunch of sick little jumps around here. remember in my last video I couldn't I couldn't make it up that hill either with the DRZ but it was a lot a lot more wet and muddy everything was just soaked around here and you know I didn't have the proper tires to do it in those conditions but the DR is totally capable and it could definitely do it let's go through here haven't gone through here Ooh, love those bark busters oh one thing I also forgot to mention is that the kid I bought it from was my weight he's 180 pounds and he had the front suspension set up for him sprung to his weight and revalved so that's perfect saves me money right there Woo, the first gear is low so i noticed the, i know I, I counted the the sprockets both front and rear sprockets yesterday and this is not stock gearing Stock gearing is 1448 for this bike, and this gearing I, I counted the gears and it was a uh, 1349. So, all right, quick rider break. Wada wada wada. <sighs> Me gusta. <laughs> Miss the rut. <laughs> the front wheel wants to just pick up so easy on this bike. So easy. Gosh, I love the smell. Two stroke. I've never owned a two stroke bike myself. I rode them a lot when I was a kid. That's what I learned riding. And I know you guys are gonna talk about engine braking. You probably keep hearing me engine brake this bike. I'm aware and I'm working on it. <laughs> Just used to my other bike. Just, it's, it's funny how different the riding style is. There's a cool little steep hill I wanna try over here. I was out here a couple weeks ago. A couple dudes I've seen out here a few times, cool dudes. One of them did this little cool little hill climb, so I'm gonna try it myself. Try it myself, try it myself. The bike's a climber, and it just trucks up everything. I'm in, just crawling in first gear. <laughs>
Whoa, almost going down right there. This bike, it's like once it hits that power band, it's just like a wild horse. It's like it's not as forgiving. I mean, it's not too gnarly. You know, it's not overpowering. But it is, it does take getting, some getting used to. Whoa, I can just hear coyotes. <laughs> it gets up and goes so quick. I love it. Alright guys, that is going to be a motovlog. More to come with this bike. Um, a lot to talk about. A lot of, uh, you know, unfair comparisons with a DRZ400. And a whole lot of fun. That's the most important thing. A whole, a whole lot of fun. I'm going to keep riding here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off the camera, do one more lap, and head home. <sighs> Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. Please hit that like button if you did like it. Subscribe. Also, share the video. Show a friend. You know, share the love. And I will catch you guys on the next one. See you guys later. Peace.